Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and I would like to show you how you can change the color amps in the data display on the game for the Big Island of Hawaii Physical Geography. I'll shoot to sharing the screen, and we'll just share the desktop now, and we'll start the lab. What I want to illustrate, it'll take a while to start the lab, is that um, the computer, you'll hear your computer start to whir and increase in temperature. The reason why it takes so long to start the lab and the reason why your temperature is going to increase and you hear the fan is that if you look at the scenes in the background of the startup view, there's a tremendous amount of data being displayed for the Big Island of Hawaii. All the elevation that you see for the Kohala volcano in the foreground and the Mauna Kea uh, volcano in the distant area, you're seeing real data being displayed. And the game environment allows you to see it the way you would with this perspective in the real world. Although you're getting elevation jumps because the data grid is a 30 meter grid cell. And it's the best way to display the data. So when you hear your computer heat up, don't worry. That's why it has a fan. And it takes about seven minutes for the game to fully display all of the data. So now that it's loaded here, it, the computer sets you to start on the edge of the Kohala volcano. So I'm moving my mouse around. And now I'm changing the scroll aspect of the mouse. I'm pushing it back so you can see an idea of the whole view of the game. And now you can see why it's heating up your computer and why it's an amazing perspective. You're seeing the Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, Hoa'alai, all in perspective from the perspective of the Kohala, or the oldest volcano. On the northeastern side of Kohala, you can see deep river valleys that are incising with a lot of vegetation. And then on the drier northwestern side, southwestern side, you can see the rain shadow effect. So what I mean by color imps for you to change are what you see when I hit it, click escape, I go off of the game mode and I can see dew points. Whoa, that's really red. And in the inset map here, if I click on dew points, you also see it's really red. If you look at isohyots or precipitation, these are the preset conditions. If you like these, great, you can keep them. The view of the color ramps won't change the digital data you can see where the avatar is located. But if you do want to display the color ramps differently, you need to open the menu area, click on settings, and then change the map view. In the setting, you can change the view of the color ramps for the inset map. So let's keep the inset maps the way they are. And then the dew point for the terrain overlay, let's change it to something very different from yellow to green to blue. And for rainfall, let's change it to, we'll call it spectral. See what these look like. Then we'll hit apply and we need to keep this. Sometimes when you hit apply, you'll change the overall screen view. It'll jump up in size like it just did. So to redo this in the settings mode, I need to change it to the computer view, go with full screen, go off a of full screen, and then change it from the full view to something smaller, and then apply it. And now, I can toggle back and forth between the games and I'm going to keep the resolution. So I hope you can see immediately that the color ramp has changed for rainfall in the game view. And it's different from the way the default was set. For the dew point, which is a measure of humidity, it's very blue where the lighter blue is less humidity and the darker blue is more humidity. And the dew point in the inset map displays differently. All this is in your control, but most importantly, the questions you're asked in the game have to do with the digital readout you can see here for dew point and rainfall. I hope you found this informative and I hope you enjoy the lab.